Well, a very good day to you, ladies and gentlemen, depending on whichever part of the world you're watching us from, and definitely depending on your time zone therein. Welcome to another interesting episode of the Kanti Talk here on Haman Manuel's YouTube channel. My name is Evan Sokini. Such a pleasure to have you on board. Of course, we do uh, tell you that this is Kenya's most comprehensive political and public governance analysis show. And of course, my name is Evans or King yet again. We did promise that we'll give equal chance to everybody to express their views and help us understand what is actually taking place in this country. And we would like to engage you in all this. We kindly ask you to weigh in on these conversations and tell us what you actually think. Because at the end of the day, we are more than certain that these conversations will shape rather influence the kind of leadership that we'll witness in the country. Because we are in for a better Kenyan. Now this fine evening I'm joined by one of the sharpest minds around here, a young man who's uh, in uh, the political and governance space, Wakili Kidimwaga. Once again, how are you sir? Easy like a Sunday morning. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm interested to hear you say that you give everybody an equal chance. Are you by any chance preempting that I may hold views that are unpopular with your audience? No, 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 no. It, it doesn't have to I'm go pulling there. a leg. Uh, yes. It doesn't have to go there. Actually, here we do give everybody an equal chance to express themselves. Yes. And in a manner that you deem actually fit. So we do not have whatever influence or control over whatever anybody says on this platform. And that is why we tend to remain unbiased as much as possible. Welcome to the show, uh, Kidi Mwaga. Asante. The last time we had this conversation, you were very articulate, and I think uh, that resonated well with uh, a number of uh, our audiences here and people who actually listened to you uh, speak your mind back then. Now, welcome. I want us to begin from here. Yes. Uh, I understand that uh, there is some chaos uh, within the uh, Luo Council of Elders. There's a certain faction that um, is uh, perhaps uh, deemed to be allied to uh, the government. And then there is also that other faction that perhaps uh, people are actually looking at it and saying, oh, these ones are allied to the former prime minister. All this confusion arising in here, there was also a function that was, at, uh, that, that, that was actually organized by that particular, uh, by a particular faction of uh, that uh, uh, council of, the Luo Council of Elders. And whatever happened down there was not actually good for this side because that kind of function was disrupted by unknown people. I wonder what you have to say about that kind of disruption that we witnessed down there in Kisumu. Um, okay, thank you for that question for the start mm -hmm. because the Law Council of Elders mm -hmm. should be this institution mm -hmm that should give direction to all the members of the community okay. irrespective of political affiliation or orientation mm -hmm. however there have been sustained political attempts to capture the law council of elders mm -hmm. going as far back as the days of the late Ker Riaga mm -hmm. Ogalo. Riaga Ogalo of course we know and I think that the political class have not let the law council of elders mm -hmm conduct their affairs mm -hmm. without interference. Mm -hmm. It is going to be to prove disastrous mm -hmm. to the community mm -hmm. when the political class now want to micromanage mm -hmm. everything in Luanyanza. Mm -hmm. Because what is then going to happen mm -hmm. is that the people are going to ask the question mm -hmm. that do we have sacred cows in Luanyanza? Mm -hmm. Are some people children of a lesser god? Mm -hmm. For instance, mm -hmm. We have Ker Adero Sawa mm -hmm. from Awendo, mm -hmm. whom we are told was the person elected by the council mm -hmm. to take over from the late, the late uh, Ker Nyandiko, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I mean the Ker Willis Otondi. Okay. But um, Adero Sawa's uh, election, when he was elected, the mm -hmm. political ca class came in and with their huge muscles, mm -hmm held something contrary to the wishes of the members of the council mm -hmm. and installed someone whom both the council mm -hmm. and members of the public mm -hmm. believe is a stooge to a certain politician mm -hmm. that then denies the council mm -hmm. an, uh, an opportunity to speak with one voice mm -hmm. to give direction to the community mm -hmm. and to safeguard the interests of the community mm -hmm. 
But why are the politicians getting uh, 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 into the affairs of the Luo Council of Elders? Okay. One, remember that there are a lot of previous uh, transactions mm -hmm. that were conducted in the name of the community. From the days of Luo Union mm -hmm. to the days of Luo Thrift uh, and Trading Company, mm -hmm. what was called Lutat Kwanda Jaramogi mm -hmm. and others. So there are assets that the community acquired. Mm -hmm one of them being the Ofafo Memorial Hall, mm -hmm. among others. Mm -hmm. But you see, over time, some of these assets have ended up in the hands of private individuals. Mm -hmm. These individuals who have taken over the assets mm -hmm. that were bought by monies contributed by the members of the community mm -hmm. have, now, are, have now decided to ensure that whoever ends up as care mm -hmm. is someone who is a stooge to them. Mm -hmm. And I think that is a travesty that we must stop. Mm -hmm. Because if we do not stop it, uh, for instance, you know Ker Willis, uh, Ker Nyandiko comes from, from what is called South Nyanza. Ker Adera Osawa comes from what is called South Nyanza. Mm -hmm. If we are unable to push politicians out of how the local council of elders conducts its affairs, mm -hmm. then the people of the other side of the or, or, or the south the south of of of, of river of river river sondu mm -hmm. sondu miriu mm -hmm. will say that we have to then determine uh, engage in self-determination okay. so that let us g find someone within and amongst us mm -hmm. who will give direction to our people mm -hmm. and will stop listening to anyone and anything that is coming north of River Sondu. Mm -hmm. so I think that is some, uh, a reality we must, we must grapple with mm -hmm. and this is why the politicians must get their hands off the Law Council of Elders. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Just sticking with the chaos that was witnessed down there. Yes. Why is it that um, there's a name that was actually mentioned of one of the MCS down there? I wonder what you have to make about uh, the member of parliament, uh, the, the, no, the member, member of, of the county uh, assembly, the county assembly yes. whose name was actually mentioned in such kind of uh, feud that we witnessed between uh, the the council of elders, that particular faction, and uh, the rowdy youth that you people are saying that uh, actually uh, decided to cause mayhem down there. The said MCA is a non purveyor of violence. Who is this? And uh, without mincing words, mm -hmm. it is Aduin Yang was captured on camera. Mm -hmm. Aduin Yang is the MP for uh, uh, the MC. Market Milimani, yes. Mm -hmm. Market Milimani Ward. Market Milimani Ward, yeah. And he was captured on camera within the precincts mm -hmm. of, uh, of Afa Memorial Hall, um, threatening to unleash violence. Mm -hmm on the elders that are not allied mm -hmm. to his party leader. And I think that we must remind characters like Adwinya mm -hmm. that the days when people thrived on violence without consequences mm -hmm. are long gone. Mm -hmm. we, the Kenya is a constitutional democracy. Mm -hmm. And if they disagree with the views of those elders, mm -hmm. I think them extending their thuggery mm -hmm. into the management of the local council of elders mm -hmm will be called out because when we see them there, mm -hmm. when we see them threatening those elders with violence, mm -hmm. we can clearly tell with precision mm -hmm. whom they could possibly be speaking for okay. and which is a, 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 something that should not happen. Mm -hmm. Because leaders from our area, both cultural leaders and political leaders, mm -hmm. should bring our people together. Okay. It shouldn't be mm -hmm. that when uh, we hold different viewpoints, then we should threaten one another with violence. Mm -hmm. So, so that I do it as not is not seen to be threatening those elders with violence on behalf of anyone. Mm -hmm. I think he should come forward mm -hmm. and apologize to those elders mm -hmm. and promise not to mobilize thugs against those elders. Mm -hmm. But if and when he, he, he is to, to mobilize thugs against those, those elders, then I think the full force of the law should prevail. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, this all uh, entire fiasco and all is taking place down there with regards to all these differences that we're witnessing uh, uh, among the uh, Luo Council of Elders therein. Yes. Definitely, those are a lot of questions. Now, number one, I would like to ask you, as a governance uh, expert here, yes. and somebody who's been on the know, what's the significance of uh, this Council of Elders in 
our political and governance space right now because I also saw uh, some kind of allegations being made uh, to the enduring check of Meru, especially regarding the kind of problems that were uh, bedeviling the uh, governor of uh, Meru County, Honorable Kawira Mwangaza, therein they being uh, uh, told to have uh, had some sort of a hand in it. So even uh, as much as uh, that was not actually explained, but then at least we had uh, the name of the Meru uh, Council of Elders being mentioned there. Now we are here with the local Council of Elders. What is their significance in all this? That actually the Kenyans now should be paying some sort of attention to them. Uh, the Council of Elders mm -hmm. are the custodians mm -hmm. of our cultural identities. Okay. And for instance, for Luo Council of Elders, mm -hmm. it has got both cultural and political significance. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that because all politics are local, mm -hmm. one of the finest coalitions we have formed mm -hmm. is the coalition we formed in 2007. And in 2007, the then care of the Lu Council of Elders, Ria Gaugalo, mm -hmm. was a very proactive chairman. Mm -hmm. And I remember him uh, uh, organizing constant uh, get-together meetings. Mm -hmm with his peers from what, what you'd call the Kalenjin Nation, okay. and the elders from both the Lua and the Kalenjin communities mm -hmm. would meet regularly. Mm -hmm. The net effect is that in 2007 elections, you saw, you, you saw the support mm -hmm. that the Kalenjin community extended to our son when our son was running for the presidency. Okay. Subsequently, mm -hmm. we have attempted to have other uh, coalitions, mm -hmm. but they have not been as effective as that single, uh, that, that, that coalition that we formed in 2007 mm -hmm. where our elders were involved. Okay. When as a community mm -hmm. we have our elders speaking in one voice in the interest and in defense of the community, mm -hmm. then you can clearly tell that we are headed in the right direction. Mm -hmm. But when there is interference mm -hmm in who is ends up as chairman of the Law Council of Elders, mm -hmm. then it means that the Council of Elders, as a custodian mm -hmm. of, our, of, 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 of both culture and community interest, mm -hmm. then begins to lose meaning. Mm -hmm. Because it therefore means that it isn't captured mm -hmm. to serve nefarious interests. What do you mean by nefarious interests? Because here we have got a situation whereby you've drawn... Uh, I, I, wonder, I wonder where you draw the lines and the functions between the, li the functions of the uh, Lugo Council of Elders as well as the council, uh, the function of uh, the political uh, class. class in that particular region. Who gives direction when it comes to matters of communal interest? Ideally, it should be the Lugo Council of Elders. Uh -huh. Because I re remember that uh, the first, the care of Jaramogi, during Jaramogi's time as care, mm -hmm. Jaramogi had to dis was asked by the, 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 the Council of Elders then to decide whether he was going to serve the community mm -hmm. as their care, mm -hmm. as the care of the Lu Council of Elders, or he was going into politics. Mm -hmm. When Jaramogi decided that he was going to serve the people of, Lu of, of Nyanza mm -hmm. as an MP in Legico, then he was asked by the council mm -hmm. to relinquish his chairmanship okay. within the council. Mm -hmm. And therefore, he subsequently, the council then mm -hmm. elected Mze Omer from Nyakach mm -hmm. to serve as care. Okay. And subsequently, we elected cares to give the community direction. Which directions now? I have told you that mm -hmm. the Clue Council of Elders is a custodian of both cultural, mm -hmm political and economic interest. Mm -hmm. For instance, mm -hmm. there are instances, there was what was called during Otonglo days. There is a place in, in Kisumu called Otonglo. Mm -hmm. During that time, members of the local community were mobilized to contribute 50 cents, mm -hmm. 10 cents, mm -hmm. that were directed towards community empowerment. Mm -hmm. Most of the assets that were acquired because of the contributions mm -hmm. by the community ended up in private, uh, in, the, in, in private hands. Okay. Uh, one of them I, am, I have told you is of a memorial hall, mm -hmm. and uh, plus several other places. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, so, I mean several other properties. Mm -hmm. And what is then therefore happening is that, uh, because of these assets, mm -hmm. properties that were acquired through contributions done by the community, mm -hmm. uh, the political class, and some of the people who have become beneficiaries of the, the exchange of hands of these properties mm -hmm. have developed a vested interest in the management of low council of elders. Okay. And therefore they have attempted to capture it. Mm -hmm. When they have captured it is that therefore we are in a situation where 
we are with a council of elders mm -hmm. that cannot even uh, give any direction of whichever kind mm -hmm. to the community okay. in whichever way mm -hmm. because it is interested in serving political ends and political ends in isolation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But then we, here when we have a certain faction that is actually affiliated to uh, the, the, the government right now that has decided to work and support uh, the uh, policies of the government, uh, don't you see that at least uh, this time round, at least even th that particular faction of uh, the Council of Elders therein is also getting into uh, political stuff, something that may not actually go well with the political class in that area? I, I don't agree entirely with that position. Mm -hmm. Because it therefore takes us back to the to the to the Cold War days, mm -hmm. where you, if you are not a capitalist, mm -hmm. then you are deemed you are a communist. Okay. Because this is what happens: that for a long time mm -hmm. we have cultivated the culture in our region mm -hmm. that people have got to you know adopt this unipolar viewpoint, mm -hmm. unipolar uh, political view mm -hmm. and cultural view. Mm -hmm. That if you depart from that unipolar uh, viewpoint, mm -hmm. then you are deemed either a traitor, you are deemed a rebel, mm -hmm. you are deemed, you know, we, we would give you certain uh, uh, adjectives. Mm -hmm. And I, so that because these people do not seem to be willing mm -hmm. to let the political class decide for them who ends up as their, as their, as, as their chairman, mm -hmm. they are therefore branded as people working with government. Mm -hmm. But there is no problem with working in, with government in the first place. Mm -hmm. So the question is, what if working with the government mm -hmm. is in the best interest of the community? Mm -hmm. Because as you, as you might be aware, mm -hmm. is that government is the biggest spender. Mm -hmm. So if as a community we are saying mm -hmm. that in the last 30 years, for instance, okay. we have seen living standards drop significantly in our area. Mm -hmm. There is very little investment. Mm -hmm. We have not invested sufficiently in education and in technology. Mm -hmm. And that there is need that we find creative means mm -hmm. on how to bring up mm -hmm. um, um, the capacity of our people okay. in terms of in terms of living raising living standards, mm -hmm. raising education standards, mm -hmm. raising health standards. Mm -hmm. These are not things you would do when you uh, isolate yourself as an island. Okay. And so the other argument would be that we have county governments already. Mm -hmm. Look at how the county governments in Luar Nyanza, mm -hmm. in the following Nyanza counties, have performed mm -hmm. in the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. If anything, as a community, we had a chance to demonstrate to the whole world mm -hmm. that if and when we get into the presidency, mm -hmm. this is how we would run a government. Mm -hmm. But look at the wastage that was in Homa Bay in the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. Look at the wastage that was had become so synonymous with the CIA. Mm -hmm. In the last one year that we've got the new, elected the new govern, uh, government in CIA, mm -hmm. you know of the, tiff, the push and shove mm -hmm. that was between the, the governor and his deputy over the allegations of mismanagement of, the, of, the, of, 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 of money in CIA. Okay. So I think that, um, I, I think that we must also not let us especially you as people in the media mm -hmm. you must be cautious mm -hmm. not to let people uh, brand mm -hmm. those who are holding different viewpoints as this or that mm -hmm. thank you but here we are definitely you've talked about uh, working with the government being a not uh, bad as long as it's in the best interest, interest of, the of the community, community yes now uh, a question here uh, of course i'm wondering who then decides uh, now that they say that uh, all politics in a uh, is, is definitely local yes who then decides what is in the best interest of the community the law council of elders would have been in a position to help us decide that mm -hmm. It could have been a good place mm -hmm. to go and 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 discuss our our affairs as a community. Mm -hmm. But then remember, from the days when Ker Riagaugalo was kicked out of office, mm -hmm. we have not had a proper and functional council of elders mm -hmm. of low council of elders okay. because people who have ended up as chairman have been people who have been viewed. Mm -hmm. And I'm using that very deliberately. Have been viewed to be holding brief for certain mm -hmm. political ends. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, my qu bigger question and concern is: Do you think that uh, the Council of Elders across, let alone even the uh, Luo Council of Elders, any other community in this country, uh, should be actually be giving political directions? Um, well, you see, I think that uh, each community, uh -huh. each society, uh -huh. will decide their own affairs. Okay. As far as the law community is concerned, mm -hmm. I think that the law council of elders was, is a good place mm -hmm.
to decide the cultural direction of the community. Okay. But then we, we politicians have attempted to infuse politics into it mm -hmm. and to use it to serve political ends. Okay. And because of the community uh, uh, economic interests also therein mm -hmm. because of the past where community was mobilized the local community were mobilized mm -hmm. to make certain contributions mm -hmm. to do certain things and the properties acquired out of that mm -hmm. ended up in private hands mm -hmm. that is why there is a lot of push and shove within the local council of elders mm -hmm. but as for other communities mm -hmm. they must decide their affairs as it suits them because i don't believe mm -hmm. in street jackets okay thank you that's right of course as you said that but then now finally talking about interest yes where do you draw the line between personal interest and community interest these same leaders the faction that you're talking of who have decided to work with the government the other side may actually is there, accuse them is, is, of is, is, them is, is, pursuing is, is, their is, own is is is, uh -huh. is, is, is there evidence that say they're working with government no no no. is there something they've done with government not really or is there something the government has done for it them? appears it appears that they have decided to support government policies and that is why we are having that kind of a break and forth between this faction and the other faction as well uh, you see first we mm -hmm. must also appreciate mm -hmm. that these elders are first individuals mm -hmm. Individuals living in a society. How will we tell a whether society, they, they, a society uh -huh, governed uh -huh. by, of course, that very government? Okay. So that if, for instance, they are, could be working with government, mm -hmm. if anything, it is only proper that mm -hmm. you support your government, mm -hmm. ex especially when your government is, has got its acts together. I remember, we are in a constitutional democracy at the same time, so somebody can decide whether to support or not. Yes. So when you talk of proper, then that could be also debatable. <laughs> How do you? Uh -huh. So one thing we must agree uh -huh. on uh, on Evans yes. is that I think that in regards to Luonyanza politics, mm -hmm. we must go back to a Luo Council of Elders mm -hmm. that was as functional as the time before, uh, during and before Keria Gaugalo. You've not answered my question. How do you know whether this faction is actually following their own personal and individual interests at the expense of the community interest? So, the que we let us go back to the election that was conducted uh -huh. when Ker uh, Willy Sotondi went to be with the Lord. Okay. Uh, all the elders that were in that meeting mm -hmm. told us mm -hmm. that Kerade Rausawa mm -hmm. was elected as chair. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. But then that there was intervention mm -hmm. from political quarters mm -hmm. to have Mzeade Rausawa dropped mm -hmm. as chair mm -hmm. and instead we, he was replaced by Odungira, by yeah. Mze Odungiranda. Uh -huh. um, you know the history of Odungiranda. <laughs> I can see, I can see you've, de and de so you can you, you've deliberately decided to remove the word care and use the word Mze, but it's okay when it comes <laughs> to Odungiranda. But let's, let's, let's just go to uh -huh. Yeah, so mm. Mze Odungiranda was then, uh, we were, so the intervention was in favor of Odungiranda. Mm -hmm. So when the intervention was in favor of Odungiranda, these other wazes, their voices were muzzled. Mm -hmm. They were silenced. Okay. They were told not to speak. Mm -hmm. Understand? So that is where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. We are saying that if the council is going to decide its affairs, mm -hmm. let the council sit without interference and elect their chair. Mm -hmm. So that let in the conduct of the chair, let us see that he is betraying the community. Mm -hmm. But when there is intervention from without the council mm -hmm. to have certain people end up as chairman, mm -hmm. it again goes back to how we've been unable mm -hmm. to elect proper leaders in our region because every time we go into the elections, mm -hmm. the primary process is greatly messed up with. Mm -hmm. Yes. How do so you I tell? Think, uh -huh. I, think, so I, th I think I have said enough on this. <laughs> I am not commenting again. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's conclude this conversation here. Yes. Looking at politics in Nyanza region. Yes. Let's be here so specific. Do you think that um, uh, the Council of Elders down there is at a position whereby right now they can give uh, political, political directions direction. as they are trying to do? Uh, while at the same time uh, uh, the Mze is also around, of course, Raila Odinga has uh, had uh, his political influences in that particular region for the longest time uh, possible down there. Do you think that uh, right now it reaches a, or we are at that particular moment whereby the Council of Elders can speak and tell the community that we are going this direction and Raila says we are going this direction and then the people decide to follow what the uh, Council of Elders are saying and abandon what Raila is saying. You know, every time a local Council of Elders come from South Nyanza, mm -hmm. the political class have seemed to have a problem with them. Okay. 
You know, Kerriaga Ker 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 was coming from Karachuanya. Mm -hmm. And Kerriaga ran into headwinds mm -hmm. with the political class mm -hmm. in spite of his ability mm -hmm. to help mobilize support mm -hmm. for our son in 2007. Okay. Um, you know where Ker Willis Sotondi was coming from? Mm -hmm. He was not coming from what you call South Nyanza. Okay. Right now, again, South Nyanza had a chance to lead the Low Council of Elders mm -hmm. through Mze Adero Sawa. But then the intervention came that it has to be Odungiranda. Mm -hmm. So we must first ask ourselves, what is special about Odungiranda? Mm -hmm. And why is it that Mze Adero Sawa mm -hmm. could not have been given a chance? Okay. So because of this interference with the Low Council of Elders, and I'm putting this to you, mm -hmm. that a possibility mm -hmm. that then the people from that side of the world may decide mm -hmm. that we are not going to take to work jointly mm -hmm. with people from certain places mm -hmm. is a real possibility. Mm -hmm. So it is a time that we come together as the people from, from that region mm -hmm. and ensure that we restore the dignity mm -hmm. that used to exist in the Low Council of Elders. Okay. Yes. So you believe that there could be a time or rather we are at that time where the, the Luo Council of Elders can actually give political directions to the community? There is what is said that it is the last straw that, the last, the straw that broke the camel's back. Uh -huh. You know as a community uh, our pursuit, say, of the presidency mm -hmm. has made us made a lot of compromises mm -hmm. locally mm -hmm. in our region. Mm -hmm. But what, some of the compromises is how we've ended, ended up with leaders, leaders that have not prioritized the needs of our people. Okay. So that when again now we see the interference with the Low Council of Elders, mm -hmm. that may actually be the straw that may break the camel's back. Enough yeah. said about this, I'm not commenting again. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, no, we've been having this conversation with this young man by the name Kilimwaga. <laughs> when you look at him, you may wonder how comes he knows a lot about uh, the Council of Elders and all the names and that, that rich history that uh, uh, comes from that particular community. But, well, of course, I want us to end this conversation at this particular moment. I would like to, uh, you to weigh in on this conversation and tell us whether you think that uh, the Council of Elders in this particular country, be it from whichever community, is relevant at this particular moment. And just tell us their significance. What do you think about the significance when it comes to giving political directions in uh, the uh, various communities that they actually come from? We do not actually want to witness some sort of uh, scaffold or rather confusion between the mandate of the Council of Elders and uh, the political class that we are witnessing in the country. Allow me to stop this conversation at this particular moment. But of course, if you're watching us for the first time, kindly subscribe to this channel and stay tuned to some of our programs that will be coming up next. My name is Evans Okini. It's a pleasure to have you on board. Till we meet again, thank you so much.